everybody, Mo Motion back again. So, it's been a fair while now since I last posted a video. It's probably been about a good three weeks. Uh, two of them were because I've, uh, well, two and a half of them. I've just got back off holiday, a uh, two week holiday in Spain, and um, which was lovely, beautiful, hot. 35 degree weather daily. A really nice change from the shitty British weather. And would you fucking know it? As soon as we left the country, we had a heat wave. As soon as we come back, rain. Just fucking sod slaughter, ain't it? Um, but yeah, that's my first reason. I had a holiday. Uh, my second reason, um, well, to be honest with you, I kind of got a bit fed up with YouTube. I was, um, I was getting sick of all the abuse and just general shit that I get off it. And it was starting to grate on me a bit. So I thought, I'll give it a few weeks before I post another vi video. Save throwing a tissy and throwing in the towel, just take a step back for a couple of weeks and um, have a rest and have a break, nice holiday and then once I've done all that, when I feel a little bit better, a bit more relaxed in myself, I'll come back and carry on, which is um, what I've done, but yeah, an awesome holiday. And uh, I've actually got some uh, very good news concerning the holiday, actually. Um, I and Missy's Motion are now engaged. <laughs> I'd had it planned for um, quite some time, actually. I had it planned for a couple probably two to three months and she's been dropping hints like a bastard for longer than you can imagine yeah dropping hints longer than you can imagine so I thought what I'll do I'll go and I'll get her a ring and I'll um, take it to Spain with me so, I've got a good friend of mine to come shopping with me, and we found a ring that she'd like. And, uh, obviously, we bought one. And then the next thing is, how on earth <laughs> am I going to um, hide a ring for like a month and a half and get it to Spain without her noticing? So um, I bought it and uh, I'll give it my friend to take to her work, uh, keep it there for me for a little bit. So she had that for she had it for about three weeks, and the week before my holiday, I started to think, "Fuck, I'm going to manage this because Miss Motion um, tends to do all the packing and organising and, and all that," and I thought. Fuck, I'm gonna get get it in the case and out again the other end without her noticing. And uh, just by chance, look at it that um, a week before we went away, my nan decided to come on holiday with us. Uh, she booked a last minute flight and she come away with us. And I, I thought to myself, oh, this is perfect. So, um, what I did was, uh, I gave the ring to my nan and, uh, got my nan to put it in her suitcase. And we went on the Tuesday and she went on the Wednesday. And, uh, what I did, I give it, I give it her. And when she arrived the day after we got there, I got the ring off her. But the Wednesday, the day she got there, 
happened to be an our anniversary and that was my plan you see I thought what I'll do is I'll take her away to on holiday to a nice country and while we're away on our anniversary I'll take us out for a meal and I'll propose to her while we're out for a meal so that's what I did and um, she said yes Woo! <laughs> Yeah, so now begins the long, drawn out proceedings of spending two years planning a fucking wedding. But, yeah, I couldn't be happier. I mean, I'm so worried. Look, I was getting really nervous coming up to it. Oh, I couldn't believe I was, to be honest girl I've known for eight years and I'm getting nervous about it. Um, yeah, I'm, my idea is I'm going to plan, oh you total, total, total cock. I'm going to plan a biker's wedding. I'm going to have, the, the theme is I'm going for, well we're, I should say, going for a gothic Victorian theme or long dresses and corsets and uh, top hats and waistcoats and stuff like that and canes and, and colours we're going for like uh, purple, black and red as the three colours we're going to know this white wedding shite it's not a bit different but I'm, a, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have a biker's wedding so I'm gonna I want to arrange at some point down the line a biker's escort uh, to escort me to the wedding because the missus obviously wearing the dress and everything is going in he's got, we'll, we'll, we'll obviously go in a car but I want to go I want to turn up to the church on my bike in all my gear so um, I want to arrange a, b a biker's escort to uh, me to wherever wherever it is we arrange and ride with me in convoy to the church so if any of you are interested don't forget to give us a shout out and I'll uh, I'll remember you when it comes around to the date. But I'll uh, I'll probably start a uh, a Facebook group off anyway, and get it all organised through Facebook. Probably the best way. Yeah, that's about it, really. I yeah. Uh, I can't really think of much else to say apart from, um, yeah, mine's drawn a blank. Bastard. <laughs> yeah, alright then, guys. Well, it's nice to speak to you again. It's been a while. Good catching up. Motor motion. Signing out. See you later.